in Palooza Party. It's your girl Gigi and you are watching Anime Palooza. Today it's time for my Anime Fest 2018 haul which was in August it, and it's November now. Um, I'm a little late with this so I apologize. I went to Anime Fest with the Dub Talk crew in August. We had a great time. You guys have seen the vlogs on my channel, the vlogs on their channel. Is there anything really else I need to explain about Anime Fest? I don't know. We had a really great time. We met a bunch of people and I'm going to show you all the merch and all the signed stuff that I picked up while we were there because, you know, doing a huge giant haul video, not going to happen when there's so many people there. So uh, I hopefully have cards for everyone that I visited. I hope, ah, but let's get our get our anime on guys. The first things I picked up were something that I really wanted to pick up last year and I didn't go in the right line to get them but they were handing these out um, when we went to registration. So these are Arena Tanamura prints because she was a guest last year and I uh, could not get in her line because I was waiting for Sayo Yamamoto from Yuri on Ice fame you know. Um, but she was there and I'm kicking myself that I didn't get to see her because hello Idolish 7 hello but these were the prints they were giving out last year I picked up two because one is going as a present to somebody um, and these are adorable and I love them and I love Arena Tenamora and I did actually buy something for her to sign because she writes Idol Dreams that manga that I really like um, I didn't get to see her so maybe next time but it was cool that they still had these so I took two <laughs> probably should have taken more in hindsight. The next thing I got is actually a gift from Spaceman Hardy from Dub Talk. He got me this really cool Outer Senshi print uh, from I believe Anime Blues Con when he went last year. This year? This year. This year. Um, and it's got Saturn, Pluto, and my waifus on it. Oh my god. I love this so much. I can't wait to move so I can put it up on my wall. I think with all the stuff I have I can make like a waifu wall. Like I want a clear file wall. I want a waifu wall. I want a Hisoka wall. Like it's gonna happen. Thank you so much Hardy. I love this a lot. The next print I got was the only Idolish 7 thing they had at the entire convention. Guys trust me. I looked around a lot like there was nothing so this is a trigger print and I love it <laughs> perfectly it was trigger and not um <laughs> not, I was gonna call them starish not Eilish 7 because I like trigger more we all know this we all know I have the bias um and this is from Sabas Studios from Steph Bassett sabassstudios.com she has a patreon she do commissions I will link her info down in the down bar if you want to get this print from her yes you do you do and then the, the other place I bought prints from I got all this from all the same person because she is a BL artist and I was like, girl, I gotta give you money and I gotta give you a lot of money. So this is from uh, Two Boys Are Better, piece dash of dash hope dot tumblr dot com or two boys are better dot etsy dot com. So I got a grab bag from her and this was some of the stuff that was in it. Um, these are like little um, like logo prints kind of. Actually, I didn't even really look at these. I just kind of picked them up and went on my merry way. So let's see what these are. And I think for $10 or something, I got two big prints and a little print. Oh, cool. Okay. So here's the first one. It says Eastern District Junk Shop Heibon. Mediocrity is our name. Establish Midorijima Island. Is this from Kuroko's? What is this from? Help me guys. Help me out, please. Um, and the other thing that I got says Harry freaking Potter. Damn! Damn! Harry freaking Potter for sure. I mean look at this. He is just like ready. He is ready. Who needs fucking Draco Malfoy now? Not when you have Harry freaking Potter. And then the other prints I got are a little more recognizable. Oh, the other smaller grab bag prints in here too. I'll pull that out. So I bought more prints because I'm great. Bitch boo! <laughs> I saw, this is the first thing I saw from her and I was like, I need 
this. I need this in my life. So, um, this is what used to be my best boy from Bitch Boo before I actually watched Bitch Boo and now he's not my best boy, but he's still aesthetically my best boy. And like the boy who likes him. Names can't remember. It was all in Japanese. We'll talk more about Bitch Boo in another video. And then this is the other one that caught my eye. You guys love Stage. I love, love Stage so much. Um, this is Senna and um, Ryoma, and they're getting married. And they're so cute. I love them a lot. Oh my god, I love this. Also, got more because you know, you know how we do. And then um, this was the postcard that came in the grab bag Sigaku Seishun Academy Tennis who I should know Prince of Tennis Prince of Tennis right this is the last print I bought from her this is the last one it's Victor and Yuri and I thought this was beautiful it has like kind of a watercolor aesthetic to it and I just thought this was beautiful so I bought it yeah guys uh love this artist a lot I will link her in the down bar Go buy from her. She's very good and very talented. She's a good girl and she all she does is BL and those logo things. That but for somebody to do that, we gotta support, right? We gotta support. Okay, I'm very concerned right now because I had a bunch of stuff that I got signed that I need to get signed in my next con and all I found was this bag. So hopefully it's in here. Camu, are you in here? Okay, the camu folder's in here. We're good. We're good. We're good fam so i actually did a lot of shopping at kino kunia both the store and the booth they had there the last day their stuff was 75 percent off so i went a little crazy but i bought this this is a b project eda bag that has thrive on it aka best band um this is like a plastic pocket that you can put stuff in and then it's a clear bag and then on the inside attached is this canvas bag that you can um, take out if you undo the little snappy things and it's got shoes on it. I'm gonna cover those shoes. The shoes will be no more because this is an Eda bag and it was cheaper than those Eda bags you buy on Amazon. This is a big ass Eda bag and the pouch in the middle zips. I can't wait to mess with this, guys. I can't wait. So we went to an Udapri panel, which was a bunch of girls in Udapri cosplay doing like a game show. It was pretty hysterical and their cosplays were really well done. They wore the shining live outfits and they had a trivia game and I won this. I won Baby Show. This is a C prize figure from Maji Love 1000%. It's really small. Um, the box is kind of banged up, but it mean I won it in a prize. It was free, so who cares? Um, the best thing about this was that I almost bought this at Anime Midwest and I didn't because it was like $35. Um, and now I have him. Now he's mine. He's going to go up on the wall by Ren Guji, who's not his boyfriend, but my boyfriend, okay? Here are some gifty things. So Megan went to the panel with me and she also got a trivia question right and she got a whole bag full of these rubber straps. So she gave me Camu because she is the best. Toaster Kiwi was there. If you guys have seen any of my videos before you know I buy a lot of stuff from Toaster Kiwi. Um, I didn't buy anything from her this time because I think I had everything that I liked that she put out. But she's very cool. I'm gonna link her down in the down bar anyway. You should all go buy stuff from her. Also at Kino Kunia they had magnets and they had Hunter Hunter magnets. Oh my god. So I got the Leorio magnet because hello it's so hard to find any merch of Leorio and then I got Kurapika. So adorable. So cute. What a good boy. We did another dub talk uh, My Hero Academia print swap. Hardy bought all these for everybody last year and he did it again this year and our only thing was that we had to get a different one than we got last year. So last year I got Todoroki, obviously best boy. This year I got his boyfriend Bakugo. <laughs> because he's angry and I love I love Bakugo not gonna front and Megan actually bought me this this is a little 10 count print so cute 10 count I can't wait for those figures I bought four not four of the same ones but like four total also Megan I believe bought me this this is a uh Sailor Uranus and Michiru pin which I like that they're in the different outfits and I really love the art style on this pin and this pin is adorable. I love my little lesbians. I'm gonna wear this to kind of delete. And then I also got this Victor and Chris pin from Yuri on Ice. Yes, yes, I love them, my little drinking buddies. This was also from Megan and this is from Alexis Real Rail Bunny Do. I will link her stuff down below but it is a keychain from a con she went to and on one side it's got Hisoka 
And on the other side, it's got his boyfriend, Illumi, and I love it. Oh my god, I just, all the Hisokas give me all the Hisokas. Speaking of all the Hisokas, um, so I've purchased prints from this artist before, and I saw him at Anime Boston. And he was like, girl, you went to Anime Boston, and then you came all the way out here? This is a Hisoka acrylic stand. Could not let this not come home with me. Um, his name is Kevin Yan. Yeah, animator, digital artist. Here's his card. Comes with like a little, just a little plain stand. And it's like kind of matte. It's got like a matte finish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also from him, I got a bunch of mini prints because I really wanted more acrylic stands, but I was also broke. So here is the Hisoka Schwing print. Hello. Hello. I have Karama from Yu Yu Hakusho. The Hisoka print that matches my acrylic stand. Georgie from Yuri on Ice and Odebeck and I wanted to get a JJ but he didn't have any more I was very sad but the Odebeck was pretty so I bought those from him also now before I bring up the other th other bag of stuff um I bought this from the actual Kino Kunia store this is a Code Realize design work art book so this is like a really nice Code Realize art book super pretty to look at and not just pretty to look at, but I also got it signed. So here's Lupin, not the third, but Lupin from Code Realize. And Tatum signed it down at the bottom there in the corner. So cool. He didn't really have a lot to say about Code Realize. We must have talked about other stuff, but it was very nice to meet him. Again, he's a su super chill guy. And he'll tell it to you like it is, so that makes me very happy. And then I also got Jill Harris to sign it. Cardia herself. She actually wasn't a guest at a con. She was helping out at an Otome Games booth. So, well, Otome Games room, actually. So I got to meet her there. Very nice, very quiet. She's a quiet girl. Um, beautiful. Beautiful is Cardia. I love this book. This is like going to be a, an ongoing project now. So David Wald, I think there's a Captain Hardpants picture in here. I'll see you next month. And the last bag full of stuff it has a lot of stuff in it. I can't go anywhere without buying clear files now, can I? But before we get into those, at the Kino Kunia store, I bought a Spoon magazine, Spoon 2DI, which I haven't, oh shit, oh, there's the poster that was in it. I haven't bought one of these in a while just because I've been super broke, but it had trigger, trigger on the cover, so of course I had to get it, and it came with a trigger poster and a bunch of Idolish 7 stuff and Star Muse on the back cover, and oh my god, oh my god, here's a picture of... I, what the fuck is this? I don't know, but it's beautiful. Everything in this magazine is beautiful. It's a bunch of boys. Here's the Royal Tutor. Yay. I love this magazine so much. And there's the poster which matches this cover. Whole, whole big poster. Camus is holding my autographs, my trash queen. They're treasured, nestled ever so nicely in you. Here's a bunch of Code Realize art cards I was going to get signed and then I didn't. I bought that book instead. Diabolic Lovers. I bought, brought just in case. You're coming with me to Con Alta Lake because David Wald. Oh my god, David Wald's gonna hate me. I met Erica Harlocker. Erica Harlocker, who signed my Hunter Hunter cover for me. She plays Kurapika and it says 2GG, love Kurapika. And she drew a little, I don't know if you guys can see it, she drew a little spider on there and she was like, my drawing skills are awful. And I was like, girl, don't worry, so am I. We talked about her hair. Her hair is amazing. Okay, um, I met Don Bennett and Rico Fajardo, who play Mage and, oh god, what's the girl's name? What's the girl's name in Dance of Devils? Shit. Ritska, haha! <laughs> Mage and Ritska in Dance with Devils, so I got them to sign this. I told Dawn I stand her, which is true because she's an amazing voice actress and I love her. But that was not all from Rico Fajardo. Oh no, fam! Guy. Guy deserves the big Toblerone. I got Rico Fajardo to sign my I Know Kasabi cover, which is now infamous, and he immediately was like, will you take a picture with me so we can send it to Brittany? Hi, Brittany. Rico signed this. <laughs> um, and also, so did Jacob Browning, who I didn't know, but did Walla for this show. So, now I have... <laughs> I have, um... Cliff Chapin, Rico Fajardo, Chuck Huber, and Jacob Browning, who has signed this lovely, lovely piece of art. 
I don't know if anybody from Cut Outs Lee, I don't think anybody's in it, but I'm gonna bring it just in case. Jacob Browning is a very nice dude. He gave me this card that says 2GG, let's go breakers. He was in Cheer Boys and he is super nice. Like he is a really nice guy. So you should all go meet him if you can. I met Whitney Rogers, who is super beautiful and super nice also. And I had left my defrag box at home. So I don't know who this girl is, but I bought her from her because I needed to. Okay, so I met Margaret McDonald, Meg McDonald, and I had brought uh, Love Chibio and other delusions for her to sign, but I bought this print from her because it's Harmony me from Citrus and it says, 2GG, come to my bosom, child. Ugh, she's so cool. Like the panel that all the girls did at Anime Fest was really informative and really good. And if you ever get a chance to go to a women in anime panel, you should definitely go. Uh, this is from Lil, Lyle, I apologize if I pronounced your name incorrectly, um, who does a lot of translating and stuff work in Japan. She was very nice, very informative. I have the Kiss Him Not Me, which... Who signed this? Shit. Justin Briner, Alejandro Saab, uh, Tia Ballard signed it, who directed the show. Tia Ballard signed this because she directed it. It says, All My Love, Tia. Ballard and then Alejandro and then Cliff, not Cliff, Justin Briner signed it. Dave Wald, I'm coming for you. Uh, this is a little sticker from Cheer Boys of his character that Jacob Browning gave me. Super cute, right? Oh fuck, Camu just fell on the ground. I won't step on you. It's the other way around, buddy. All right, I got the man, the myth, the legend, Chris Wakehamp to sign my Royal Tudor cover. He plays Bruno. Bruno, though. And Tia Ballard, who also directed this, signed it for me. I bought this just to get him to sign it, let me tell you. Then the last... Oh, Chris Wakehamp, thank you for giving me a hug and not making me feel like a jerk because of the Kakurio episode. And the last thing that I got isn't something that got signed, but it's something that means a great deal to me. From like horror and art, Megan commissioned me a watercolor painting of Camus stepping on me. <laughs> you guys, this is the most thoughtful gift I've ever received. I love it so much. And I want to put them up. You're going to get up right here right now, buddy. And I'm going to move stuff around later, but you can't tell that he's stepping on me there, but he is. You know he is. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. I'm in love. And then the last things that I purchased were 75% off clear files. So these were $8 originally. Definitely paid 75% of $8. I bought almost all, well, no, I did buy all of the beachy ones they had. So here we go. We got Tamaki from Idolish 7 in this like SWAT cop thing. I don't know, but I want it. I want him to arrest me. Please arrest me, Tamaki. I got a frame from Idolmaster Side M. These are like the white ones that I didn't couldn't get frame from, so I'm excited because frame's fucking hot. Frame is fucking hot, guys. I got Iori from the cop thing. Oh, he oh I thought he had a ponytail. He's just standing behind somebody. Iori from the cop thing. Where did these come from? I know that they're cards but like oh my god the I, I where did these clear files come from i got yamato again from the cop thing god bless god bless i love him i got oh god the name of this band i love this band i can't pronounce their name Sh shisengumi <laughs> the I don't know I'm gonna look it up and I'm gonna write what they're actually called but I really like this band and I can't pronounce their goddamn name wait no it just says I don't match your side on never mind I also got flags which one of these has the only female seiyu and I don't match your side on I don't know which one it is because I don't listen to flags a whole lot but it's okay I got Mitsuki Izumi from the cop thing that tie is making me die I love that tie so much I don't I don't you guys I don't know and then the last one that made me die the most, Dr. Sogo. <laughs> I saw this and I was like, what is this? And then I read it and I was like, no way, no way this is Sogo for my, but it was. So I literally bought them out, like one or two of all of the ones that they had. I got them all for 75% off. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> 
And that was everything for my Anime Fest 2018 haul. Let me know what you thought about anything that I got down in the comments below. Who's Who's your favorite voice actor that you've ever met at a con? Let me know and we'll have our little party. If you like what I do and you want to buy me a drink, my Ko-Fi link's in the down bar. If you want to send me something to unbox for this channel, my P.O. box is down there as well. I post videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Is always feel free to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, my anime list, or my figure collection. My username's Palooza at those places. And until next time, love your feces. <laughs>